But before we get to that, I want to ask you, do you think that Dak Prescott is the MVP? Well, it's been a great conversation. I mean, you look at stats now. That, mm -hmm. that, that, that stats and numbers says that, that he's had a better year than Lamar. Right. And, and the wins on the team, it's just it's, it's not that, that they're right here. They're right here. Right. And, and, and I, I understand that when you throw in, or, or as they're saying, they're, throw, they're throwing in and, and the, the, the ability yeah. of, of, of Lamar to run over that. But that's not what we're doing here. We want to always put MVP with excitement, I think, as opposed to production. Right. You know, at one point, we're talking about Lamar being an MVP. I think he had 18, 19 touchdowns. Throwing yeah. a touchdown. Pass Correct. A touchdown. It was like, I don't think I've ever had an MVP at the quarterback position with less than 20 <laughs> touchdown passes. You know, that last game he threw for like five and helped yeah, him. It, it, it right bumped right. him up a bunch. Bumped no doubt. him up a bunch. A bunch. If he needed that. I, I know he needed one more five catch, five six touchdown game. But then, <laughs> then we can stop talking about this issue. Michael Irvin truly said a mouthful there, didn't he? It seems like the NFL and media pundits are more concerned with how flashy a player looks while playing the game versus how effective they actually are whilst playing said game. Dak Prescott has 100% by every single analytic, by every single metric, every single number that has to do with playing the quarterback position and value, Dak Prescott has 100% been the best quarterback in the entire NFL this year. Yet, everyone is so enamored with Lamar Jackson's ability to run fast or his ability to escape out of a play and make something out of nothing that they're willing to give the flashiness of his play style more credence than the effectiveness of Dak Prescott's play style. But the funny thing about that is Dak Prescott is in a completely different stratosphere as Lamar. In fact, I'm not even going to compare Lamar Jackson to Dak Prescott in this video. I'm going to make a more accurate comparison. Lamar Jackson and Derek Carr, because essentially that's the type of quarterbacking season Lamar Jackson had this year, man. And it's kind of frustrating because it's like, holy crap, people are so hateful of Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys that they're willing to completely ruin the, the precedent set by the MVP award and what it looks like to be an MVP of the National Football League just so they can give it to the person that's in second place this year, essentially. Lamar Jackson, as Michael Irvin said, coming into that previous week against the Dolphins, had only thrown for 19 touchdowns. I don't care how flashy your play looks. I don't care how much you can do a little jig and, and shake and, and get out the pocket and, and run a couple yards. I do not care. 19 passing touchdowns and having like 13 or 14 turnovers once you add in his fumbles is disgusting and by no means anybody's MVP. And if you want to sit here and try to act like he had as good of a season as Dak Prescott as a quarterback, no. He, he was Derek Carr this year but with legs and can run. Derek Carr had a higher completion percentage than Lamar Jackson this season. He had more passing yards than Lamar Jackson this season. Passing yards per game were almost identical. 229 for Lamar, 228 for Derek Carr. Passing touchdowns, almost identical. 25 for Derek Carr, 24 for Lamar Jackson. Interceptions, almost identical. Seven for Lamar, eight for Derek Carr. Quarterback rating, not too far off, but Lamar is winning there. And then obviously Lamar is going to have the advantage with all the rushing attempts. What's amazing is Derek Carr has actually been a more accurate passer than Lamar Jackson this year. He has an on-target percent of almost 80%, where Lamar is at 74%. And has a bad throw percentage of 15.3%, where Lamar has a 16.6% .6 bad throw percentage. So you see what I'm saying here? Anytime you can look at someone that's supposed to be the MVP, and his closest comp as far as his effectiveness this year is a guy that's missing the playoffs this year and honestly had a pretty ho-hum type of season for the New Orleans Saints and Derek Carr. Derek Carr was under fire plenty of times this year, but the difference is the Ravens just have a better overall team. You see how many all pros they had on that defense? They had like four or five all pros 
on their defense by itself. Lamar Jackson is not having an MVP season. He's actually having a very slightly above average season that just has a lot of flash and splash plays mixed into there. So people are hanging on to the flashiness, to the highlights of what he's doing versus looking at the entirety of his body of work. He's going two or three games a season without throwing a, a touchdown pass. His team wins games when he has bad games. That's not the, the definition of an MVP. If you're the MVP, if you have a bad game, your team should lose because that's how much value you have to your team. And that's not what's happened with Lamar Jackson this year. And the sad part about it is, it seems like everyone's got in on pushing this narrative because even if you go to PFF, which is supposed to be looked at as one of the most reputable analytic sites on the internet concerning the National Football League, you'll see that they have this very, very strange and phony looking statistic here that Lamar led the league in average EPA rank at number one. And then of course they had Dak Prescott at number two, but that's just not true. If you look at the actual numbers, the actual EPA numbers, you can see Lamar isn't even top 10 in expected points added. That's a very, very important statistic. That, that, that statistic measures the value of your play on the field every single play, whether or not you're a positive effect on that play or a negative effect on that play. Essentially, that's what this statistic shows. And forget talking about Dak Prescott being at number one. We know by now as Cowboys fans, this man 100% should have won MVP. He did not have no help. If the, if the passing game didn't do well, we were probably going to lose, bro. Lamar Jackson is number 14 in expected points added. That is absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't matter if you look at it just did or raw. He's very, very low on this list. And this particular graph is adjusted for receiver drops, dropped interceptions, luck on interceptable passes, fumble recoveries, and interception returns, given credit for expected yards after the catch only, and accounting for the defenses faced. So this statistic is a very, very solid type of statistic to give you a general idea. Obviously, you want to put all your eggs in one basket as it pertains to any one statistic, because statistics can be skewed for anyone's argument, including mine. And I'm going to. I'm objectively biased as it pertains to the Cowboys. I want to be objective, but all of my points are going to be biased and skewed towards trying to prove a point for my team. But this one speaks for itself. I don't have to prove the point. Lamar is nowhere near the most valuable quarterback in the league. Why is he the MVP? His numbers show you. His numbers are nowhere near MVP numbers. Why is Lamar the MVP? Michael Irvin already discussed it. I think there's a fine mixture of getting lost in the highlight plays and media agendas driving this MVP campaign for Lamar. And as far as I'm concerned, this MVP 100% has an asterisk for Lamar. I'm sorry. I like Lamar. I don't have anything against him. But it's just funny to me that a guy that has a passer rating of 68.3 with 900 yards, three touchdowns, and five interceptions in four games in the playoffs in his career, and he's one and three is getting the level of reverence and respect that he's getting, especially since Dak Prescott's been getting killed. He's two and four, and his playoff statistics look miles better than one Lamar Jackson's playoff statistics, yet Dak Prescott gets absolutely no respect. And we put respect on Lamar's name because what? He makes flashy plays here and there. Lamar Jackson has more to prove than anybody in the league because now he's going to be a two-time MVP who also has the 26th worst passer rating in NFL history in the playoffs. Hmm. Either way, y'all know always in these videos. How? Them Cowboys. I hope Dak Prescott, Michael Parsons, and all the other guys on that team go out and absolutely wreck people in the playoffs because at this point, that's all that matters. The playoffs right around the corner, baby. It's time to put up or shut up. Take away pass. Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still in ball? Y'all usually check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still in boys. Hey! Woo! Hey! Hey! I'm still in boys.